In this screencast, we'll show you how to run a workflow in Yabby. For example, let's create a simple workflow, such as selecting a file and using a quality and trimming tool. To create a workflow, you can either click on the tool and select Add, or you can click on the tool and drag and drop it into the workflow area. You'll see that the user input option for the select file tool is currently red. That's because no file is currently selected. If we click on the back end here, we'll see the available files. Let's select the clean fastq file for sample one. If you click on the contour try tool, you'll see the available options. To show all of the options, click show options. The default parameters appear automatically, but you can change any of them if required. Let's change the prefix, for example, from sample to contour try. For the input file option, which is minus fastq1, you'll see that it is automatically selected the file from step one. You can leave it like this or you can change it to the file itself. Now the handy thing about leaving it open as the select file tool is that if we go back to select file and add in a separate file, you'll see that two files now appear. If we leave the select file tool selected in the input option here, the workflow will iterate over both files and produce output in two separate directories. So this is an easy way to run a number of files through a single workflow. In the next screencast, we'll continue this example.